welcome back to another week of Spiffed Up. So this week I wanted to do a makeup tutorial, an eye makeup tutorial on the new, not the new, what the heck, this has been around for a while, but on the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Recently it just went on sale for like $24 on Urban Decay's website, it was on sale at Sephora and I want to say at Ulta as well. So of course so many people are going to be picking this up and be looking for like YouTube tutorials and I was like, you know what, let's do an updated tutorial on this bad boy here. It is such a beautiful palette, honestly. And this palette is so intense, like I understand why it's called electric palette because these shadows are so pigmented, pigmented that they had to label that some of them couldn't be used around the eyes because they would stain them or they were just very, um, just powerful. Without further, there was a spider? <laughs> So without further ado, let's get started on this Urban Decay Electric Palette Eye Tutorial. So I prime my eyelids as well, um, off camera, so they are good to go guys, they are good to go. Okay, so for the first color I'm going to be taking the color Thrash on my Morphe flat brush and I'm just going to be pressing this onto my lid. Just going to be pressing it on there. And I'm just building on this color, you know. So next, I'm going to be picking up my Morphe 3 M330 brush. This is probably one of my favorite, like, blending brushes because it's so pointed at the end that I can really get in there into the crease area if I'm going to be doing any transition shade or any type of blending. So I really love this brush a lot. I've used this since, like, the good old days when I first started buying eye makeup brushes. This was probably, like, my one of my first brushes that I purchased. So I'm going to be picking up the color Savage, my Morphe M330 brush, and I'm just going to be applying that onto the crease. And just using a very light hand to apply this. I want to make this look very wearable for the ones out there that are not used to color. Like, I don't want to make it so, like, draggy or anything like that because who wants to wear that on a daily basis? You know what I mean? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from, like, this outer corner on the lower, on the lash line here. And I'm just going to be whisking it up. And then I'm just using windshield wiper motion, just going back and forth and just blending that pink out. I'm just using circular motions just to help diffuse any of the colors. The palette that you can use if you don't have this one is probably the Morphe 35B palette, which I have that one also and I freaking love it. Of course, those shadows aren't gonna be as pigmented as this one, but you're gonna have a more of a variety as far as like color-wise of like all the shades that you can use in that palette. You can go back in one more time with Thrash, which is that green that we used. And you can go back in there and just build on that color again, just in case if it kind of was being covered up with that pink. And then you can go in there and just blend it out with your finger a little bit to help with the edges. Next, I'm going to pick up my Morphe M431 brush. This is just a nice pencil brush that I'm going to use to pick up the color Urban. I'm just going to apply that onto my outer crease, just right here, for a little bit of dimension. And then I'm kind of flicking it outwards just to help blend in and have a smoother transition into the pink. Now I'm going to pick up Urban again and I'm just going to pop this into my outer lower lash line. So I'm making sure that I'm not connecting this purple that's in my upper outer crease and this uh, purple that's in my lower lash line. I just want to make sure that these lines are separated because I just feel like that's just a nice little artistic thing that you can kind of do just to make the look a little different, you know what I mean? Now for a little bit of more, I'm going to take M16... Now for a little bit more, now for some more, okay, so for, oh my gosh, I can't say this. Okay, so for an added touch of color into the lower lash, now I'm going to take my Morphe M169 brush, and I'm going to take the color Gonzo, and I'm just going to be picking that up, dragging this out into the purple, and kind of mixing the two together. And what this is going to do is it's going to mix in with the purple and it's going to start to kind of get a little bit darker towards the outer where that purple is. So it's just going to make like a darker blue basically. But I like it because there's still going to be like a hint of that purple in that blue. This is a very colorful look. But still very pretty. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to be taking the color Revolt. And it's just like this sterling silver shadow. And it's so pretty. I like to pop this into my inner corner. You can totally build up on this silver here to make it even more pigmented. I'm going to go back in there and clean up any mess that I may have. Now to clean this up a little bit and make it more sharp, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to kind of go right underneath it. And then just drag a line right underneath. 
Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Voodoo. And I'm just going to be popping that. Actually, I'm going to sharpen this a little bit. Just a smidge. And I'm just going to be taking this into my waterline here. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do a wing. I'm going to add a little bit of definition to my lash line, and I'm just going to take some NYC Liquid Liner. I got really quiet there. I was like, come on, Eric. You can do this. Now for my lashes, I'm just going to be curling them just a little bit so that they are nice and blended in with my falsies that I'm going to go in with. But I'm not curling them all the way. I'm just going to slightly curl them. Because if you curl them too much, then applying the falsies are just going to be really difficult because your hairs are just going to be, like, pushing them out. Like, my bitch, you don't fit on my eyelashes. All right, so for my lashes, I just put them on off camera, but I put on the Ardell Wispies, and I kind of customized them with some individual lashes that I kind of just put on the outer part just to help make them more uh, voluminous and dramatic, like on the outer portions of my eyes. And then I did also my brows off camera, but I used the NYX uh, eyebrow gel in Espresso. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore eyebrow products to use, but I wanted to show you guys that every now and then whenever I do like a colorful look like this, I've been popping like a a little bit of color in my inner part of the brow so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now so I'm gonna be taking I don't know what I should put on my brow let's take savage onto my brow it's a pink shade and we're just gonna pop that in and I want to kind of show you how easy it is to kind of do it so you can take like your morphe m165 this is just an angled brow brush here and I'm just gonna be picking up a little bit of savage I need like a closer up mirror you know what tap off that excess before that falls all over but you guys can see how pigmented this pink is. It's crazy. And all I'm doing is just kind of like pushing upwards, but I'm starting like at the base and just going bloop, bloop, bloop. And make sure that you're not starting off with like a lot of product on the brush because like I said, that fallout is just going to like start falling all over into your eye makeup look or onto your face. And you kind of just want to like comb it through your brows just to make sure that it's all nice and blended with the other brow product that you used. But this is just like a fun way just to play around with a bunch of like colors. You know what I mean? Like... Who cares? It's just makeup. And then you can take like that last bit onto the outer part just to give it like a little hue. Then if you think it's too like sharp like in the inner part, you can kind of just take your finger and kind of brush it out. For my lips, I'm going to be matching the color of my brows. I'm going to be taking the color Big Bang from Urban Decay as well. And it's just this metalized pink color. And it's such a pretty pink. Like honestly, it's probably one of their best lipsticks that they came out with. I swear I put on lipstick like I'm a slut. Alright guys, that is the end of this eye makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is right down below, so go ahead and click that, because I have been posting a lot lately, so that's like a thumbs up for me. Um, and then in the comment box down below, go ahead and let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. I will take any suggestions, just let me know. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye!